Since April, division among political leaders in Libya's east has been evident. This week, Cairo has brought them together to accept a new vision for peace in Libya. The Cairo Accord moves in line with the previous Libyan agreements in Rome, Paris, Abu Dhabi and Berlin. It begins with a ceasefire on June 8th. Marking this occasion, I'd like to call Libyans to fold the pages of the past. I urge all groups and political parties to take a step back and let's all as Libyan brothers deal with each other. Parties have different visions, but now we are about to build a Libyan state, an executive authority and a new constitution. When that happens, let them all compete. The initiative sets specific political representation for Libya's regions in a new elected presidential council and cabinet. These bodies will lead a transitional roadmap for a maximum of two years, ending with general election. Cairo's meeting has also called for dismantling the militias and sending away foreign mercenaries. Turkey's interferences increase the internal polarization. It is supplying the unconstitutional government of national accord with arms and mercenaries. This will also increase regional polarization, especially around Libya as interests collide between nations involved in this conflict. This could elongate the crisis and disregard political paths. While the Eastern Libyan leaders were holding intensive meetings in Egypt this week, the head of the GNA was in Turkey. There, Faiza Sarraj has dismissed the possibility to stop his counter-military campaigns against the LNA forces. We warn against the insistence of any party to continue seeking a military solution for the Libyan crisis. Egypt is closely monitoring the situation, and with its Libyan brothers, it's continuously following developments on the field. Egypt rejects all forms of escalation which will complicate the Libyan scene further. It also threatens terrible consequences in the region. Egypt has managed to unite eastern Libyan powers on a somewhat detailed vision for peace in the civil war-torn country. The first challenge for Cairo will be to maintain the ceasefire. The bigger step is to bring al-Sarraj on board an initiative created by his rivals. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Ras Sidr, Egypt.